Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to my glass studio. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use the Glass Eye 2000 software to create fused glass designs. This is the Glass Eye 2000. To draw over an image, I go to File, Add Backdrop, select a picture, open it, and then at this point it'll ask me if I want to change the size of the background properties, which I'm going to leave this as it is for today. Then I go to OK, and then it brings in the image of the strawberry. Now if I hit the Enter key, it fills the screen with that image. Now I'm going to go to the Curve tool and trace around the strawberry. Now the nice thing about this program is you can bring in intricate designs, trace over them, simplify them, and then work them into your, into your artwork. Now when I come back to the original knot, I double click to complete the line. Now I'm using these leaves as inspiration, but I've decided I want to draw my own because I want them a little bit bigger and I want them to kind of overlap on top of the strawberry. So I'm kind of going to draw my own leaves here. There we go. And I'll draw the third one over here. And there we have our three leaves. Now I'm going to go to Edit, Select All, go to the Pick Tool, and move this image off to the side. Then I'm going to click the enter key and click off the strawberry to look at this at the shape and size of it and make sure that I like it. I can grab any of these little knots and I can make adjustments to the size and shape of the strawberry just by pulling on them or pushing on them. Now I'm going to go over to the add knot tool and wherever lines intersect I'm going to add a knot. What this does is it will enable me to remove any of these unwanted lines. Now I'm going to go to the pick tool and make a few little adjustments here. Then I'm going to grab these lines, these unwanted lines, highlight them, hit the delete key, and remove them from my design. All right, I'm satisfied with this strawberry, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the background. I go over to File, Remove Background. It's asking me if I want to remove it. I say yes. And then I'm going to hit the Enter key, which centers the strawberry in my workspace. Now I'm going to go over to Edit, Select All, Edit, Copy, click off the strawberry, edit paste, and make a second copy of that strawberry and move it to the side. Now I'm going to right click paste, make a third copy of the strawberry and move it to this side. Now I'm going to hit the enter key which centers everything in my workspace. I'm going to highlight this strawberry on this side and I'm going to make it smaller. So we're going to go to modify resize. We're going to make it 2 inches instead of 2.4. Then we go to modify rotate right here. Now we're going to rotate that strawberry to make a nice cute little cluster. Now I'm going to go to my pick tool, grab the strawberry and bring it nice and tight to the original one. I'm going to take this strawberry over here. I'm going to modify it and make it smaller. So we're going to resize. We're going to make this one 1.75. Okay. And we're going to rotate that strawberry by modify, rotate, put a little twist into it, grab it with the pick tool, and move it in nice and tight to that first strawberry. Now I'm going to do the minus key a few times to back out of the design. I'm going to highlight all these strawberries. I'm going to do edit, copy, edit, paste to make a second set of strawberries that I can use at a later date. Now I'm going to hit the enter key and I like to do this because if I do anything to damage these strawberries or you know, one up, they get lost somehow. I have this set as backup I can always revert, refer to. Now I'm going to move my screen over slightly. I'm going to hit the minus key a few, t a few times to back out. Then I'm going to go over here to draw. I'm going to draw a small square. And then I'm going to take my pick tool. I'm going to highlight that square. Go to modify, resize. And I'm going to change the size of the square from 2 inches to 6 inches. And now I have a 6 inch square. Now I'm going to grab my strawberries by highlighting them using my pick tool to bring them closer and I'm going to hit the enter key so that everything is tighter and closer and easier to see. Now I want this to be a six inch plate and I want to put these strawberries in a nice little backdrop that looks like a tablecloth. So I'm highlighting all four sides of the square then I go to modify, subdivide and I want to divide all these sides into four equal parts. So I have number of sides four, I hit OK and then I have all these little knots that automatically subdivide these things evenly for me. I'm going to go to the Curve tool, click on the knot, and basically I'm connecting the dots to make what might look like a country tablecloth on, you know, for a picnic. 
So I'm connecting all these little dots to make my tablecloth design. And it's asking if I want to save my work, which I do. I'll get my pick tool. I'm going to grab my straw. Oh, got to go a little bit bigger. Oh, a little bit bigger yet. Oh, come on now. Let's try getting these this set up here. There we go. And I'm going to bring these strawberries in. And I feel like this, this set of strawberries is a little bit too big. So I'm going to bring it back over here. I'm going to hit the minus key a few times to make my workspace a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go ahead over here to modify, resize. I'm going to make this set of strawberries smaller. Right now it's 2.7, so let's just make it 2 and see if we like that. Now we'll do another test. I think that looks nice. I'm going to bring this back over here. And then up here I have the sticky tool on. I want to remove the sticky tool because if I leave it on, when I bring these strawberries in, any of the knots in these strawberries are going to stick to knots that they come in contact with on this little backdrop. So I'm going to decide where I want my strawberries and then let them go. Now I'm going to take the zoom tool and I'm going to zoom in on the strawberries on the background. I'm going to go to add knot tool and wherever I have lines that intersect I'm going to add knots. And what this will enable me to do is remove the lines that are going through the strawberries. So I put some knots in. Now I'm going to go to the pick tool. I'm going to select the lines, the unwanted lines, and then hit the, the delete key to remove them. All right, now I'm going to hit the minus key a few times to back out. I'm going to adjust my screen a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to hit the plus key a few times to come in, adjust the screen a little bit more to get in tight. Now I go up here to this one and this button and show knots, and I click that, and it removes the knots so they're not visible and it makes the workspace seem a little bit neater and tidier. Now I think this could use a few more details, so I'm going to go back to the Curve tool and I'm going to add a few organic lines that come from the strawberries and kind of model vines that might be coming from these strawberry plants, or these strawberry berries. Now when I make these, I'm going to make them with stringers. And I'm going to bend the stringers in a candle. So I'm going to use these as inspiration, but of course when you bend the stringers in the candle, they're going to come out slightly differently, and that's absolutely fine. So the nice thing about this program is once you have taken the time and effort to draw, draw over this one strawberry, you can use it multiple ways for multiple different applications. Here's a great example of using those three different strawberries with three different backgrounds. It's so interesting to see how the design feel is different depending upon how you approach the strawberry design. Here we have a solid background with a pretty fringed edge that's really um, warm tone, so it's really nice. And then this one is kind of like a handkerchief look or a napkin look with a detail around the perimeter and a soft white background. And then this one doesn't have any borders or detail around the edges, but it has a really nice background pattern that's subtle and adds a picnic sort of feel. Like, um, you know, just want to take this little piece and, and take it out and have some cheese and crackers on it. And here are the pieces coming out of the kiln after they've been slumped. And this graceful curvature really adds a nice delicacy to the pieces and makes them very, very graceful and uh, gives them lift, which gives a different sort of light reflection off them, which I really love. So this is just a fun way to take, you know, a single design, repeat it with different types of backdrops or backgrounds to give you really different effects. So the fun thing is, you know, when you go through the work and the effort to create that original design, you have a lot of different opportunities or ways to use it. And that's always really exciting. For more instruction, you'll find this pattern and a bunch of other designs in my Fused Art Design video. And here's a look at some of the other projects that you can look forward to making if you get that video. I've got a bunch of different designs, different types of pieces, and not only do I show you how to make these pieces, but I also give you some insight into how to create your own designs. And here's some information on the Glass Eye 2000 software. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed seeing how to use the Glass Eye 2000 and how you can use it to create your own intricate designs. But 
Intricate is awesome, but simple, fast, and easy is also awesome. We love that too. Hey, if you like this video, follow, subscribe, comment, share. We love it when you do all the above. And especially follow, because that way, and subscribe, because that way the next time a new exciting video comes out, you'll get notified right away. Also, become a premium video member. What are you waiting for? We have a ton of awesome projects, uh, courses, full-length courses, exclusive content only for members. And it comes with video instruction, uh, full-size pattern printable ebook with firing guides, images, everything you need to be successful and make great projects. So join, join today. All right, until next time, enjoyed hanging out with you today. Until next time, happy fusing.